welcome back everybody i'm so glad that you could join me here today with this all day clean with me we are going to be having loads of fun and we are going to get so much stuff accomplished i hope by the end of this video you are rip rearing ready to go to get some stuff around your house let's get into it This stuff is so kicked on there. Hey, like it. We're just gonna do the best that we can. Like it. it was like this when we moved in the house, but eventually when we we redo this kitchen, we'll we'll get this out. But for now, it works. It's functional. It is just fine. But the, getting that stuff off. Oof. My kids went downstairs to play for a little bit, so I'm just going to clean up all their fun craft stuff here. And then you'll see in the next clip, I got distracted, and then we're going to move back to the stove, the stove that never ends. I have not deep cleaned that since we moved into this house almost a year ago, so it is about time. So that's why lists are so important for me when I clean so that I can stay on task. And even with the list, as you see here, I get distracted and doing other things. It's like this rabbit hole of cleaning that never ends. So let's finish this on up here. So this is what we're working with here. The kids are playing nice downstairs. Got the baby in hand here. It's a disaster. And this isn't a matter with a couple days. So let's just kind of tidy this up, change the sheets, and have some fun. Yeah.
get so much joy from making my daughter's bed when I can here. I think it has to do with knowing that she's going to get older and she'll be doing this herself. So it's just a little way that I just feel so in touch with her innocence and just being a kid. And I just think it's so sweet here. And of course, as most kids do, they have a million animals that they love and uh, pile up there. Now I'm just going to move on to the toys and tidy these up as best as I can. The baby there is again swarming the tripod. He absolutely loves that. So just a brief intermission there to redirect him, give him something else. Luckily he's at an age where it's so easy to do that and he's very easily entertained and just a happy baby. So I'm going to clean this up. It's a bit of a, whoa, there we go. <laughs> bit of a disaster. I'm trying to organize and in that bin, I'm just gonna put random things that go in other parts of the house. For example, things that go downstairs, kitchen stuff, because the majority of our kids' toys are downstairs in the basement. And then she has this little bin here, kind of a catch-all, and I'll go through and clear it out when it just becomes a bit of a mess here. So I'm gonna finish that up here. Now on to my oldest son's room, my middle child. I'm just going to change out his sheets here and then I'm going to gather his laundry and then we're going to put it all in the washer and get a good load going. As I'm editing this video, I see that I still have some of my daughter's decor there on the wall, the pink hand prints that she made a couple of years ago, and then my baby playing with the tripod again. This is going to be my two boys' rooms they will share, and then eventually my daughter, we have another bedroom downstairs. This house has a total of five bedrooms, so there's plenty of space that each kid could have their own room, but I'm not sure if my daughter will want to go downstairs because it's three bedrooms up. And we'll just have to decide, but I do need to kind of get some cute decorating going, Pinterest for some good boy ideas. I'm excited for that. from Carter's where I live. They don't have a Carter's, it's so upsetting. So let's see how they turned out, shall we? take just a brief little intermission. My two toddlers are starting to get a little bit wily, so a nice change of scenery is gonna be really good. We're gonna go to the gym, get a good workout, and then we'll come back home, get them lunch, and then we'll be back to action. We made it back from the gym. The kids have full bellies, mom has a full belly, and I'm ready for round two, ready to get recharged, get the rest of the stuff crossed off our list. The kids are gonna play for a little bit, and then everyone is gonna go down for a nap. But first, I'm going to light a really good smelling candle. I got this one at Walmart. I get the majority of my candles at Walmart because they have such a great price point, a lot of variety, and they smell wonderful. Two components for my self-care routine. Well, I should say three are candles, fresh flowers, dancing to good beats. Now let's get working on some laundry here and attack the rest of the items on our list and have some fun, of course.
difficult as it is to get motivated to do the laundry, I find that once I just start getting into it and attacking it, I actually enjoy it. I find it a bit therapeutic because it's kind of mindless and I can get lost in my own thoughts. Let me know in the comments below, do you enjoy doing laundry or not? But yeah, absolutely. I have to admit the laundry situation never ends as you all know. And the more people you have in your family, the more laundry that you got here. But yeah, something peaceful about just zoning out and listening to some good beats and doing some mindless activity. Now that we had some fun baby playtime in, I'm going to move on to the living room here, straighten up these pillows, fold some blankets, and just make it look a little bit more tidy. And then we're going to move back to the kitchen and wipe down the rest of those counters. Now we're just going to start sorting some laundry and folding the towels and kitchen stuff, that sort of thing. I don't do a ton of folding of the laundry. If you watch my videos, we hang most of our stuff up. In fact, we do have a dresser, but I only have three drawers in it and in it are undergarments and socks and the rest of the stuff there is in the closet. Now I am working on organizing that. I do have a Marie Kondo video coming soon. It's very gratifying and fulfilling to get rid of stuff, but starting that process can be a little bit tricky. Let's finish up this laundry. These flowers have just a little bit more life left in them. I have to say these have lasted the longest. These ones are from Walmart. Oh, just love them. Every week when I go to the grocery store, I like to get a new bundle, but this one has lasted two weeks. So I'm glad about that. Finish up here and then we're gonna work on cleaning the floors.
And that's a wrap. Thank you so much for joining me today during this full day cleaning. My kids are gonna be up from their nap very shortly here, and so I promised them we're gonna do Play-Doh, games, dance party, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna be all theirs for the remainder of the evening. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and I hope to see more of your fine faces around here more often. We'll see you all in the next one. Check you later, Gator.